All right, speaking with Colby out here at First Energy Stadium. Colby, uh, thanks a lot for taking the time. And um, just wanted to ask you about the wrist right now. Obviously, first off the bat, everything progressing uh, as, as everybody would like? Yeah, everything feels good. Wrist feels good. Last night, uh, everything felt felt normal. My swing, I, you know, uh, on those two strikeouts, the swing and misses felt good. I guess I don't, don't want to say felt good, but sure. nothing was hurting in the hand, you know okay. what I'm saying? Pain, pain level-wise, it felt fine. Yeah, I didn't Absolutely. feel anything. All right. Now, entering this sort of exciting atmosphere it, with the with the official catch in the postseason, you know, can you use something like that to kind of prepare mentally for a return to the big show? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, uh, I played in the playoffs in Double A when I was with, with the Cardinals, and then to come down and be able to play with these boys, it's pretty cool. It's a nice crowd last night here at the stadium, so it's uh, yeah, it's definitely good. I played some good pitching last night, so. Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely good for me to uh, be in this atmosphere, be in the playoffs with these guys. You know, and it's, and it's fun at the same time. Everybody's having fun, which is cool. You know, so I'm just glad to be here. Uh, you know, glad to be able to play baseball again. Absolutely. Now, I also wanted to ask you, uh, you know, coming down here or, or, or coming coming uh, in, into uh, the minors again here to, to join this New Hampshire club, were there guys or names on this club that you were already familiar with before you arrived? Yeah, I, uh, Kevin Howard. He was in the Cardinal organization for a little bit, and uh, one of my real good friends, Evan Crawford, he uh, from Alabama, mm -hmm. and we we were gonna go to Auburn together, but you know he he likes to say that I backed out on him because I I got drafted and went and played, and he went to Auburn. But we were good friends uh, throughout high school, you know, played travel ball together, so that was definitely cool to uh, be able to come down here and spend some time with him. That's something else I'd like to, to speak with you about just for a second. Uh, you know, you mentioned being drafted, you mentioned kind of signing. Was that a tough call? To sign, you know, since you were committed to going to school and everything. Yeah, because I had a lot of friends that were going to go to Auburn. My younger brother was going to go there too, uh, and it would have probably been a good experience for me. So that, it was definitely a tough decision. But you know, the opportunity I was given, I got drafted in the 28th, uh, 28th pick overall in the mm -hmm. first round. With that opportunity, I just I couldn't turn it turn it down, and I wanted to go ahead and you know give it a shot. A couple things, uh, small things for you before I let you go, and thank you again for taking the time. Uh, you know, since joining Toronto and, and going to the Blue Jays, uh, you know, what, what's the experience been like? What's the transition been like for you? Just uh, you know, going to a new city. What's that city been like to you? It's been, it's been good. You know, all the guys on the team are awesome. I like the staff. The coaches are great. Uh, just all the way around, it's definitely a different environment than St. Louis. You know, St. Louis is a little uptight, uh, but it's just a little more laid back and uh, more fun. You, know, you just have more fun. I, myself, I have more fun going to the field every day. Everybody's cool and, you know, there's not a lot of drama going on. It's just a, uh, you know, everybody just does their thing and, and just trying to win ball games. Fans and community up there treating you pretty well? Yeah, no doubt. All the fans have been great. Uh, the town's awesome. You know, everybody's nice. It, it seems to be uh, a great place and I'm glad to, glad to be a part of it and hopefully I'll be there for many years. Been there long enough to maybe pick out a favorite spot or favorite restaurant or favorite place to go yet? Uh, I, I did go to one Italian restaurant. It's called Soto Soto. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty tip top. It's, it's nice, and yeah, you know, there, there's a lot of places to go around. There, a lot of places to eat. A lot of things to do. Uh, and so it's, it's been great, and my family enjoys it too. Great. Now, how about how about the turf adjustments? Any any kind of period to to adjust to the to the artificial turf for you? No, it hadn't really been that bad. I played on the turf a little bit. I came up to Toronto and played, and I played in Tampa before I got traded over, which, playing on the turf, it's, it's not that bad. You just got to get used to the the legs being a little more sore than usual. Yeah. The body, the body uh, it wears on the body a little more than regular, which is fine. You know, just you got to spend some extra time in the cold tub. But really, it's not that bad. Getting used to the hops on the turf hadn't been that bad for me. I, I misplayed a couple balls. Uh, just being being careful, but it's hard to read those tops sometimes and take a little bit to get used to it. Okay. And last thing for you before I let you go, uh, I, I coach Babe Ruth League age kids, age 13 to 15. Uh, you know, if you had the opportunity to speak to kids that age, what, what advice would you give them if they hope to play baseball beyond high school, whether it's college or professionally? I would say have fun no matter what's going on. Always have fun. Don't let anybody dictate your happiness in, in this game because it's a hard game. It's tough, all the pressure, all the, the hype and living up to all the expectation or whatever it may be, all the 
the stuff going on, one thing I can say is just never lose the fun of the game. Because if you lose the fun of the game, it, it becomes definitely a grind. It's a hard game to play when you don't when you're not having fun. Kobe, that's great stuff, man. Thank you so much for taking the time. No problem. All right. Cool. Nice. Good luck to you.